Hey you guys, I've heard of people making up stories and all I want to know is why. You see those big question marks. There's a Rhode Island woman, her name is Danielle uh, Lemus, and she's 22 years old. And she was babysitting her, her friend's um, two-year-old son. And apparently there was a birthday party and the mother got into an argument with one of the people at the party. So... She decided to take the toddler home. But I'm going to go ahead and read this story. A Rhode Island babysitter told cops she found a toddler wandering near a highway, kicking off a frantic multi-state search for the little boy's parents in a ruse to get rid of the two-year-old because she got tired of watching them after a night of partying at his mother's house, officials said. Daniela, 22 years old, was arrested after concocting an elaborate plot in which she said she found the boy near a highway exit in Pawtucket while riding in an Uber. The imaginary Uber driver didn't want to get involved, she said. Lemus told cops, so she took the kid home to neighboring Central Falls and called the police early Sunday morning. So she told them that she found the kid wandering near the highway, picked the kid up, took the kid home with her. But the right thing to do would have been stay there with the kid until the police department showed up. So she had to come up with some kind of foolishness. And then to say that an Uber driver didn't want to get involved. Well, that Uber driver would have been rewarded for actually helping her find that child and making sure that that child was safe. Okay, let me say, let me, let me read this. It says, you put a child in a situation where the child did nothing wrong, and then you put the community in fear that this child was just wandering around and almost went onto a highway, Central Falls Police uh, Craig Ving said to Boston Globe. This is the lie she told. Okay, let's continue. We were trying to locate the parents of a child wandering near 95. Now, you're having the entire community in an uproar. This is what they told her. Did someone kidnap the kid and dump him? Did he almost wander into the highway for real? You know, these are the questions that they're asking. And the best thing she could do is sit there and look stupid and come up with some kind of foolery story. Okay, the child was taken to Hasbro children's hospital with dirty feet and a small scratch on his face he couldn't tell anyone who he was or where he came from according to the newspaper because he's only two only two years old if you didn't want to watch the kid you should have never volunteered to watch the kid you should have never got involved you should have continued to go on about your business and let them settle it if it wasn't a violent situation it was just arguing you know people argue all the time but you should have never included that child in your buffoonery Okay, so it says police alerted other law enforcement agencies across New England and released a photo of the child to a local news media hoping his parents would see it. And he's just as cute. I'm definitely going to add pictures, okay? It's only one picture of the baby. Later that day, his mother turned up at the Pawtucket police station where cops discovered that the good Samaritan who called the police was actually the boy's babysitter and his mother's friend. What kind of friend is she? If I was that mother, she would no longer be a friend of mine. No longer. You would not come around. You stay You stay your distance. Lemus told the cops she agreed to take the kid to her house at around 1 a.m. After the little boy's mom got into an argument at her own house party, the boy's mother was expecting to pick her son up from Lemus's apartment when Lemus's call, when Lemus called the police to tell the Pawtucket Police Department. The boy's mother was expecting to pick up her son from Lemus's apartment when Lemus called to tell 
her the police came to pick up her son for no reason so she lied to the police and said that the child was walking out in the dark by the freeway and then she lied to the mom and said that the police came and got the child for no reason so she was basically really trying to cover her tracks or she was trying to hurt her so-called friend okay uh Vings is the uh, police department i mean the police chief's captain or chief he called the case the saddest thing he's ever seen in 21 years and that is sad central falls police chief anthony robertson said lemus couldn't come up with any reason for making up that story of course she couldn't detectives determined the toddler was never at an exit near a highway and was probably home with lemus until she called the police there were so many bad co outcomes this is sad and all you had to do was pick up the phone, call the grandmother, or call the mother and say, hey, can you come get your son? It was just that simple. This is what the chief is saying. She could have called the police and said, I can't watch the kid anymore, which would have been even better, but then that would have sparked a problem. You know, um, why did you take him anyway? The State Department of child youth and families is now investigating the incident she took the child from the home to get it out of a bad environment and didn't want the mother to have dcyf involvement but you already have him involved by what you did now they got to investigate this is ridiculous you know what i'm saying she made everything 10 times worse and now she's facing charges for filing a false police report misdemeanor punishment by a $500 fine and up to one year in jail according to the state law but they released her Monday on no bail which I think is crazy and they wanted to return to court on February 9th 2022 so I don't know if she'll go back to court or not or disappear like everybody else do so I'm gonna try to follow this story you know so that I can keep you guys informed on what's going on so <sighs> just watch your family members don't just trust people you know if somebody's too willing to help you got to be really leery as to why so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this live um don't forget to hit that like button that post notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you guys later all right bye bye